Hello everyone! Alright, welcome to Mop Night. I still cannot get over last night's live. I was literally trying to rush through that demo to get to the next one and there was no demo. So that was the sad night. Uh, I already ordered a new black light because it turns out I didn't have batteries and it still didn't work. So uh, I wanted to do a quick little demo on my sink while we wait for a few people to hop on and then we'll get into the mop since we're in the kitchen anyway. Um, my, I have really hard water, so like I get the, the stains really easily in my sink and plus it's a white porcelain sink, right? So that happens a lot. So I am going to show you guys what I do in my sink. So I've got my little spearnet and then I'm gonna use my Enviro scrub uh, really quick because a lot of people ask me like um, during the parties, like what are the differences in the sponges? So this is the netted dishcloth, which you guys saw me use on the um, air fryer grades today. Really great for picking up flour randomly when you're baking because it doesn't like clump in it. You can just pick up the flour off and it rinses right off. Eggs, you can pick up a whole broken egg with this thing. Great for scrubbing dishes. I like it for my Pampered Chef stuff that can't have um, soap on it because it's got a nice little scrubby and I'll just use it with that. So this is the netted dishcloth. And then this is the Speary sponge, which is, does, this is not uh, microfiber and doesn't have um, backlock in it, but it's just like a, a little bit more abrasive. So you can use it um, on like your hard, I, I'll use that sometimes on here as well. Um, it's not too abrasive, but just, just enough. And then we have the Enviro sponge, which actually has an Enviro cloth on one side and um, just like a little bit, almost like it reminds you of the tile mop pad that I'm going to show you in a minute. So it's way less abrasive than this, but just a little scrubby on this side. And this does have the backlog technology in it and it has just like a thin little sponge in there. And, and it kills off the bacteria. So if you look in under the facts, I shared a... Um, a little thing about sponges and how pretty gross they are. So I love that this has the micro silver in it and, and kills off those bacteria. And then this is the Enviro scrub. So we used to have an Enviro scrub cloth, uh, which they discontinued, but now they have the Enviro scrub, um, which has on one side has the Enviro cloth and on the other side has that old Enviro scrub that they used to have a whole cloth of. And I really like this for like, cleaning up my counters or I'm going to use it to kind of finalize in my sink after I do this uh, because I can scrub a little bit with this and then just flip over and wipe up with that Enviro cloth side and I'm still getting my 99% of bacteria with both of these, right? Both have like that uh, Enviro. I like this for my dishes. I use this more for like quick scrub down some stuff. So just a little lesson on the different sponges. Uh, I am going to right now hit up this guy with some cleaning paste. I'm going to wet a little bit like this. So I'm going to just take my wet spear. Uh, this is a spear and net. This is 100% stainless still, so it won't rust. I'm just going to rub a little bit of that on here. And I'm just going to come in here and get some of that stain off with my elbow grease in a jar. These things are really, really old, so they never like fully are like bright, bright white, but I just love how clean that you get with this. And pretty easy too. So then I'm just gonna rinse, rinse that out, set it up to dry, and then I'm just gonna rinse this down. And then I will come in with my Enviro scrub after and just kinda wipe my sink out. So like I said, I don't ever get all the stain up because this thing is so scratched up and old, but really with minimal scrubbing, it looks a lot better, right guys? So I just wanted to do that for you guys really quick and give everyone kind of a chance to hop on because the mop day is very important. So I want some people to have some time to get on. Um, Somebody had asked me about the really greasy things, like especially like the bacon that I did in there. And so I was saying, I really like to use a cloth like my kitchen cloth or the counter cloth cloth that I actually used earlier. Cause you can see on both of these, how the weave is a little wider. So it's really good for like getting crumbs up 
it's also really good for like super greasy things because then I feel like when I scrub it under and rinse it out, like it releases more. Where my Enviro cloth has that super tight weave, which is great for picking things up. Like obviously I showed you guys with the, the uh, butter dam damage, the butter damage, the butter demo. Um, but I do feel like it holds on to grease a little bit longer. So you have to kind of um, deep clean those a little more. If you, you, you can use them for your super grimy stuff, no problem. You have to deep clean them a little more often than I think these if you do. So kitchen cloth, I really like this guy. I also like him for picking up the stuff at the end of the broom that I'm going to show you because, like I said, that wide weave really is good for picking up like chunky stuff, you know? And then this is our, so this is, the, these, this is the kitchen towel and this is the kitchen cloth. So you can see they both have that same weave, but this one's way bigger. This is really good for like drying your dishes on or hand drying um, dishes, or I like to just hang them to dry my hands on or if I'm cleaning and I'll, I like to, this is like my dry my hands on all day. But if you're going to leave it somewhere, what I really like, all of our cloths have these, um, tags on them that tell you kind of what this is for. So this one says kitchen. It tells you that it has the backlock technology in it. The Enviro cloth says Enviro. The body and face, face cloth says body and face. So I like that they're all labeled really clearly, but they're also functional. So it's great to hook, but it's also great for hanging because how many, you know, when you try to hang something just like hanging over like that, how many times you end up with this on the floor or someone grabs it and sets it on the counter instead of leaving it hanging? So what I like to use that little loop for is like a little lock. So I put it in on this side and then I just literally pull that through there. And now my little hand towel's not going anywhere. I can easily dry my hands, keep doing what I'm doing, and no one's walking off with that guy. So I love that. All right, let's get to the main event again. Welcome to the live demo, everybody. Go ahead and leave your comments and I will um, I'll answer any questions that you guys have after. And I know it's Wednesday and I haven't done a giveaway, which I was like, should have done one yesterday, but yesterday was a crazy day. My son showed up, we went to dinner and um, my demo got messed up, but I think my brain just went like, oh my gosh, I, I forgot completely about doing that. So tonight, I will do a giveaway for Monday night's live. I will do a giveaway for yesterday's live. So everyone that commented on there will go into a raffle. So I'm gonna do two giveaways tonight since I missed doing it last night. And again, same rules apply tonight. If you are watching this either today or within the next 24 hours, leave me a comment, say hi, ask a question, hashtag replay, whatever you're putting down, and you'll go into a drawing for a free giveaway. I think tonight's giveaway, I am gonna give away one of um, these Enviro scrubs, which I absolutely love. So make sure you leave me a comment. Um, why do I start talking so fast? I get my out of breath. Taylor, this is my pup. He loves to just stay right by my side, huh? He likes to be in all my live demos. If I'm sitting down and get excited about anything in a live, he literally like jumps in my lap. He's so cute. Okay, so you guys wanna talk mop, let's talk mop. Randomly, it's mop month. So if any of you book a party with me for February, you will go, you hopefully be able to earn a mop. I think Sarah is like $50 away from earning the mini mop. Uh, which is the second tier package and one booking. She needs a booking. Um, so for booking incentives, I don't know if you guys saw my, well not my, but Norwex's flash sale that's going on right now. It has two different options. If you book a party with me tonight or tomorrow, um, you will get that, you can pick either one of those flash sales for free um, as a booking incentive. And it's only good until the flash sale's done. So after, I believe it's good until tomorrow. So once that flash sale is done, then it's done. I have to double check that it's not till tonight. But whatever the end of the flash sale is, that's when the back booking incentive is gone. Uh, and then as always, everyone gets a body cloth from me when they book. So this is on top of the body cloth. So if you're ready to book a party, we can try to earn you that mop next week, uh, I, or whatever, the next two weeks I think we have left. Where are we at? We have one week left of February, I think. So next week would be for that. And then March um, Rewards is the countercloth box set, which I'm gonna do a demo on tomorrow. 
And of course, I'm just talking big ticket items. They have a lot of little items in there that go along with that as well. So, um, booking this in just for you guys, everyone gets a body cloth, which I will share with you tomorrow, more information on that. And if you book tonight, you get the, to pick one of those flash saw items for free. Um, and you help your host earn stuff. They get from Norwex an item for their first three bookings. So one booking gets them one item, two booking gets them three items, three booking gets them four items. If they get more than three bookings, because I'm awesome, I will also personally give them $20 toward their shopping spree. So you definitely help your host when you book, and then we get to help you as well. So, all right, enough of that. Let's get into the mop. This is the two mop color options. So that's the mini mop. So we have the Nordics Natural, which is kind of like this rose gold and pink, which I think is so cute. And then we have the standard uh, blue and green. Um, so you can see the handles look like much different sizes, but they're all adjustable. So all of the handles are exactly the same. Whether you get the mini mop or either color mop, they're all the same. The only thing that changes between the superior mop and the mini mop is going to be your actual mop base size. So you can see the mini versus the superior. It's about half the size. So these are really good if you have like a small area that you need a mop for, like a, just maybe your kitchen area or just a small bathroom and you don't need this. My whole house is either tile or linoleum floor, so it needs it. I, I have to have the big guy. I like that I have three because we can each be doing a different room, right? Um, but if you just have a small area or some people will have one of these for their home and a mini for like their travel trailer or something like that. So. I like that they have the two different options. And like I said, the handles are completely adjustable. So it's just lefty, loosey, righty, tidy. And then I can make this one as tall as that one or all the way down so the little kids can help too. We don't discriminate. We're all for child labor around here. Uh, they gotta learn, right? They need to help out. So I love that this is small and they can help too. And all the way up to the big guys. They can't say, oh, that's too small for me. So, and everywhere in between, right? In order for yourself, you want it between chin nose levels where you're about looking. And again, lefty loosey, righty tidy. If that's locked in, it's not going anywhere. Our other lock is this lock in right here. So right now this thing can swivel all the way around, which is great for floors. But you can use this for windows, you can use this for walls, ceilings. And if you're doing anything where you want it to stay straight, it has a lock in. So now it will only go up and down. It's not gonna swivel all over, which is great for like cleaning your walls. So you're not losing it all over the place, which is very important. Our walls actually hold a ton of dust. So it is good to wipe your walls down once in a while. And this is a great tool for that or getting up and knocking down cobwebs in the corners and all that stuff. So I love, and again, it has that adjustable handle so you can get those high areas as well. Um, it also has this little rubber ball at the top, which is really great for like getting scuffs off of like your baseboards or on your certain floors that they get scuffs marks. This is good for that. And then we have this little lip here. So if I'm in the middle of doing this and I've got to stop and do something else or get a phone call or something like that, especially with the wet mop pad, if I don't want to leave it and where it's going to fall over, it's got this nice little handle. So it, you can just leave it sitting like that. Or if it's, you have a, a shorter, you, pop it down, you can leave it like on your, I think my counters are too short, but if you had different counters you could put on your counter or on your shelf as you're going by. So I love that part of it. Okay, I'm gonna go back there and lock it in. Um, and then mop, let's talk mop pads. So all the mops come with one dry mop and one wet mop pad. This is the standard dry mop for your Nordics natural color. This is the standard dry mop for the, well, it's usually very bright yellow, but obviously I've been using these, if you can't tell. Um, so it is, so you can kind of see the color a little better on that side, but this is the dry mop pad for the green and blue mop. They each come with the dry and then the wet. So the wet pads are gonna be, this guy comes with the blue and green set. This is blue water wet, right? And this is your wet mop pad for the Nordics Natural Set. And again, you might be like, I'm not going to remember that. They are labeled. So you can see this one says damp dry on there. <laughs> you 
see it? Kinda. So they're all labeled dry, damp, or what, right? Um, oh, the other option. So then we have, if you have a lot of fur babies and a lot of hair, the Chanel mop pad is great for that. It has all these little microfiber fingers everywhere and it's great for picking up like dog hair, especially like long haired pet hair. And then the tile mop pad, which gets a lot of use in my house because majority of my house is white tile. Only the rooms have like linoleum, that like a uh, wood floor, but it's not wood. Yeah, I think it's linoleum. Um, but everything else is white tile. So I do use this a lot for scrubbing because I've got lots of fur babies and my floors get really dirty. Okay, so just gonna move these out of my way. And when you're using this guy, so just like the um, dust mitt that we talked about, this also has like that static cling to it. So when, when I hit this on the floor, I can literally feel the microfiber like grab the floor, which I love. So it was kind of a weird feeling at first. I was like, what is that? But then I learned like that's that static actually grabbing down to the floor. So it's actually good to even kind of charge that, make sure that's on there. And then because you've got that static connection, this is not a deal where you're gonna be sweeping like this. You're gonna to connect to the floor and you're gonna keep that mop pad on the floor. And you're gonna kind of do a figure eight and keep everything out in front of you. So I, especially in a small area, I will go and get the corners first. And again, I'm keeping everything out in front of me. So I'm gonna go and get the corners. And then once I've gotten all my corners, I'm gonna go out in front of myself and I'm gonna figure eight and really keep everything in front of me because when I'm done, I'm gonna end up with a pile of stuff. So it's gonna to cling to some and it's gonna hold some of it in and then there's also gonna be a pile in front. So I take my, I should have wet, my wet, I like to use the kitchen cloth for this. If you don't have a kitchen cloth, Enviro cloth is perfectly great for it as well. But you're literally just going to go and pick up that line of stuff in front of it. <laughs> Two. And so you know that little line that you can never get with the broom and dustpan? No more little line. So this is everything that I picked up from in front of the mop. And then I'm gonna take my rubber brush. And typically I would do this obviously over a garbage can, right? Or even outside, but I'm just gonna do it right into here. So you just take the rubber brush and brush, oh man, I'm gonna brush all that dog hair and dirt. And like I said, normally you'd be brushing this right into your garbage can. I like to do a half turn so that I'm not coming from up here and brushing down and having anything fall off. I like to do half and flip and do half. So I get directly usually into my garbage can, but you can see in that little area how much stuff that picked up. Pretty gross, right? Like I said, I've got lots of fur babies and we live on like 10 acres, so there's lots of dirt coming in and out of this house all the time. But in this little area, that's how much I did. One time I wanted to do kind of like a test drive and I actually swept my living room with my traditional standard broom and then I went over it after with this just to see like, well, does it really work better? How much more will this pick up? And I was astounded at how much I was actually still able to pick up after doing an initial sweep. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use my tile mop pad and I'm just going to wet it. So I'm just going to wet it with water. Now, depending on what type of floor you're using, um, it's going to be how wet you want to leave it. If you're doing a concrete or tile floor like me, I just give it a good little squeeze so it's not like dripping wet, but I leave it pretty wet. If you're doing like hardwood floors or um, like true wood floors, you know, or linoleum floors, you're going to wring it out a little tighter. Uh, and it is all... Um, What the heck? What is it called, Brie? Velcro. There you go. <laughs> my brain, I was like, what am I? I brought a blank here. It's all Velcro system. So literally Velcro on and off. Just pick that 
Kaya. And over there. It has the backlock technology in it. It is literally like an enviro cloth for your floor. So basically, I just swept, dusted that off, and then anything that doesn't get brushed off, it's, if there's bacteria left in there, that microsilver is going to go to work and clean that all up and kill it out. So I don't have to worry about that. And then I literally just come in um, with the broom. Trying, okay, you can kind of see here, there's some little paw prints going on right there. And you guys saw me, I just wetted this with water. And you'll see how quickly this is like, so right up off the floor. And then I would just come. It's a little paw prints everywhere. And then I've got this little stubborn little corner right here that looks like something probably that I was cooking when I got down there. So when I get those really hard to get places, I have my bottle of UPP mixed with water that I will just take. And give a little spritz. If I know I have really, um, really bad areas, I'll spray this and do the rest of the floor, and then I'll go back and kind of get it after it sat there for a minute. But you'll see it takes it up. Gone. That quick. So, <laughs> sometimes it just amazes my own self. Um, and then once you're done, you just come over to the sink. And you can see, I literally just did half of my small kitchen. And you can see how much dirt that actually picked up from there. And then I'm literally just going to come in and rinse all that right into my sink. As you can see, half that came off already. Rinse the other half. Keep going right into there. And then, usually I use like the back of a, yeah, I'm just going to grab one. I use, of course, oh, here we go. I'll just use the side of the spoon. Usually I like to use like the back of a, the soft line of the, um, <laughs> butter knife. And I just scrape the sides. But you can kind of get the same thing with this. So you just scrape it and get some of that dirt and water out of there. And then I just go and finish the rest of my floor. Then once you're done, you literally just take it off. And then you're going to wring it out real good. As much water as you can get out of it. And then it's got its nice little hook. Hang it to dry. Good to go. So, super easy, super effective. I always have to knock one down at least once during a live. Um, I don't ever store the wet pad on here for one. Obviously, it needs to hang and dry. For two, it's not good for the glue, like with the, um, it's not the glue. Yeah, I guess the glue that holds this on in the back um, to be like left wet like that. So I always, but I do always like to put a dry pad back on because I also don't want a bunch of stuff getting caught into my um, other side of my stuff right there. <laughs> What's wrong with me today? My words are just like the Velcro, the other half of the Velcro. I don't want other stuff getting stuck in there because I want to keep that nice and secure. So I always put that back on. Um, okay, last thing about the mop is... It's interchangeable with our amazing Enviro wands. So this is the traditional Enviro wand. This is the new color that I'm so in love with. Uh, these are amazing dusters. It's a lot like that Chanel mop pad on one side. Um, it has the little fingers that just get in and get all the dust up. And then the other side is a more smooth, almost like the Enviro cloth kind of deal. Um, and it's great for dusting for really hard areas that have like thicker dust or caked on stuff. I will actually even just spritz it with like a little bit of water, just very lightly and rub it in. And then it really just holds on to it. So these are great for like getting high places. Um, they're bendable. So they're really good for like ceiling fans. Or if you bend them straight, you can get like 
back into areas like this or long bookshelves or anything like that. Like any shape you need to go, right? It can go. But why am I showing you this with the mop? I'll show you real quick. So, they're actually interchangeable. So, this handle just clicks right off, as well as this guy clicks right off, usually. And then he fits right into here. I feel like my thing's got a little bit. Okay, so now I've got an extended version of this. So, if you have high ceiling fans, or really high bookshelves, or even um, super tall ceilings that you need to get up to to get like cobwebs and stuff. You know, you can just get right up and get everything. It's got and it and it extends really long. So I love that. Those are interchangeable. And then this guy and this guy are also interchangeable. So now I have a handheld system. I can put that little lock in. And I can use this on my windows. There's actually a window pad that you can get that is really good for, um, if you have like shiny finished floors, get the window mop pad and you can shine your floors, like polish your floors with it, amazing. Or handheld on your windows, or kind of like I was saying, you can use it on your walls or whatever else you need. Now you have like a little handheld system because this basically will work the same as like the EnviroCloth, but on a bigger scale, right? So you might be saying, okay, great, this mop's amazing. How do I get it, right? So there's three ways to get this mop. Obviously, you can buy it. It's worth every single penny. And it actually, if you use like the disposable um, quick mop things, this will actually save you money and better for the environment because you're not uh, using that single use waste, right? You don't have that going on. I'm going to try to put this onto that. So that's where I'm at today, guys. Um, so it's actually, we'll save you money. I have a little graphic that I can share showing you that. Uh, but it's worth every penny. It comes with that two-year warranty that I talked about on Monday. 60-day uh, money-back guarantee. So if you bought it and you're like, this thing sucks, you can send it back. They'll give you your money back. Again, I've never had anyone do that, but you can if you wanted to. Um, number two... Book one of those parties with me. I'm going to help you earn one of these bad boys for free. Uh, the first level gets you the mini mop, and then the next level gets you the superior. So I would love to book a party with you. You help your host out. I'm going to help you earn some free stuff. Number three, you could join my team. You can make some side money, and you get this in the kit, which we will talk more about on Friday. But if you're interested today and you want to talk Hit me up. Let's chat. I'm absolutely available for questions. And I have an amazing team full of amazing ladies. Like, we have so much fun together and we're so supportive. So I'll be writing a little bit more about them on Friday. But that's the third way. This comes in the, in the starter kit. So definitely let me know which one of those options you want because you need this mop. And that's it, guys. Tomorrow I'm going to share a few of my favorite things with you. I'm going to do a counterclock demo, which is always blows my mind as well. We're going to pair that up against some paper towels. And Friday, we'll just do the Q&A for Ask About My Job, which I'll put that post out tonight so you can start asking me questions. And then that, that will be it. Like I said, we're ready to book parties. All the order links are open. So if you're ready to place your orders, let me know. I'm here to help in any way that I can. Thank you so much to everyone that's already got their orders in. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this party and learning something new. Have a wonderful night, and I'll see you guys all here tomorrow, 7 p.m.